Hello and welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel, bringing you some of the biggest and best variety and definitely the most versatile farming content on social media today. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for another 2023 corn planting video. This one coming to you from Southern Dark County, Ohio, just outside of the small town of Ithaca. I am pretty much just across the road and down the street a little bit from my house here, so this was a pretty easy video opportunity. I am out here with a local farmer as they are no-till planting some corn into last year's soybean stubble using their Case International 260 tractor pulling a Kinsey 24 row planter. This is a 24 row planter on 30 inch row spacings taking a 60 foot swath each pass. I even have a little bit of bonus footage in this video. If you can see that tractor back behind there across the road, that is a neighbor working ground with his John Deere 8440 tractor pointing a John Deere field cultivator. So coming up in the video, I do have a few drone shots of that tractor and field cultivator also. No-till farming in my area is pretty popular. A lot of guys have really good results with it. Now, I do understand there's a lot of people that watch my videos that do not come from a farm background. So by no-till, that means not working the ground ahead of the planter. So they're pretty much going in here and planting into last year's residue. Kinsey planters are manufactured out of Williamsburg, Iowa at the Kinsey plant, which you can see if you're going down Interstate 80 across Iowa. The Case International 260 tractors were built from 2011 to 2013 at the CNH plant out of Racine, Wisconsin. These tractors were powered with an FPT Fiat powertrain 8.7 liter 6 cylinder turbocharged diesel engine. These were rated at 257 horsepower with a max horsepower rating of 290 horsepower. These tractors, depending on how they're equipped, are going to weigh in somewhere over 27,000 pounds. Looks like you get these tractors with four or six hydraulic remotes, three different flow options from 44 gallons per minute, a 59 gallon per minute option, and also a 75 gallon per minute option. Looks like there was four different transmission options in these tractors. There was an 18 speed full power shift with 18 forward and four reverse speeds. Also a 19 speed full power shift with 19 forward and four reverse. A creeper transmission option with 23 forward and four reverse. And of course a CVT transmission. I do not claim to be an expert on Case International Tracker, so I'm not really sure why they had an 18 speed and a 19 speed power shift transmission unless it was a model year change somewhere when this tractor was produced. I'm sure somebody watching this video can answer that question for us. And since this does come up often in the comment section, you can see the row marker mark he is following right there, but he's not using his markers right now. As I've talked about, a lot of these tractors have auto guidance on them, but a lot of farmers, when they're planting the end rows or lining a field out, they do throw a row marker down just till they get that field lined out. Then they will set their AB line and go back and forth using the guidance. And here's the bonus footage. I don't know this farmer personally. I can see his house from across the field from my house here. So one of these days, maybe I'll get over here to make a longer video of this tractor. But for now, this will have to do. 
The John Deere 8440 tractor was built by John Deere out of Waterloo, Iowa from 1979 to 1982. There was also a big brother to this tractor, the Model 8640. This tractor here in 1982, depending how it was equipped, would have sold for somewhere around $64,000. These were powered with a John Deere six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine that was 7.6 liter or 466 cubic inches in size, and these were rated at around 215 horsepower. There was two different transmission options in these tractors. You could get the John Deere quad range, or you could also get a partial power shift. Depending how this tractor was equipped, it would weigh in somewhere over 26,000 pounds. And you could also get these tractors with an optional three-point hitch and PTO. And I do remember back in this era and hear from a lot of other guys that are older than me that back when this tractor was new, a lot of the John Deere dealers then also sold Versatile, Steiger, or even Big Bud. Although I was pretty young from 1979 to 1982 when these tractors were built new, but I do have the brochure for these in my collection. And now we'll get back to the corn planting action.
anybody see a Deutz Var 7250 tractor and McFarland 40 foot harrow in the background of this video anywhere? If you do, I might know the guy that lives there and probably be a video of that coming pretty soon. That's going to wrap up this video. If you did like this video, please go down there and hit that like button. Feel free to comment below. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate it if you would go down there and hit that subscribe button. Also, check back often. Always lots of new and exciting content coming to my YouTube channel. And if you want to see more of what I'm doing, you can also follow me along on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. As always, thank you for watching and supporting my social media.